G'day. Hey everyone's having a good day. Today, we're just gonna walk through the meal plan. We're just gonna do a bit of meal prep. It's Sunday evening, so you wanna get your meal prep done, usually through the weekend. Yeah, do the meal plan just to save on time, and just so that I'm efficient in the kitchen, and I'm not spending too much time in the kitchen. So normally, when it's a big day, I feel pretty lazy to cook food, and I will eat out, so that's the reason I sort of cook all my meals in advance. And if I do go out and get food, I'll feel guilty because I do have food in the fridge which is probably going to get spoiled. So it sort of keeps me a little disciplined. I normally eat five meals to four meals through the day, just depending on how I feel and how hungry I am. So in this video, I'm just going to show you the whole meal prep and just how I save time in the kitchen. This is the whole meal plan right here. So 5th of December, which is tomorrow. This is what we're going to be eating. So 7 a.m. I want me to have a post-workout meal train in the mornings, so it'll be 100 grams of yogurt, 100 grams of granola, 30 grams of protein, and 100 grams of Kellogg's all bond high fiber. It is sort of a sweet breakfast, and it's quite nice, it's, you enjoy it. That's the first meal of the day. The second meal of the day is around 7 to 10, 30 a.m. So through that time, we're just sort of snacking and just eating when we do get a little hungry. Um, so that will be four Nutri-Grain original bars, and I'll just have that between 7 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. It's purely just carbs. And because we are on a higher carb range, we do allow a few more carbs through the day. So that's like a splurge. 10.30 a.m. is when we'll have the first real meal, the whole food meal, which will be 250 grams of lean beef and 200 grams of sweet potato. So with that meal, I do have my beef. I do measure my beef uncooked and I do measure my sweet potato cooked. So as long as you keep everything consistent, it's pretty sweet. 3 to 4 p.m. is normally when I get home from work. We'll just have like a chicken wrap. And 6 p.m. is normally when I'll have the last meal of the day, which will be again the same thing we had a bit earlier on, which is a chicken wrap and then a chicken salad. So that's all my meals. That's all the ingredients for meal one, which is the Kellogg's All Barn cereal. Um, I use this granola, which is honey crunchy clusters, and I use this yogurt, which is French vanilla, no added sugar. No added sugar, no fat, 80 calories. Chromobolics, and we're using salted caramel. So 100 grams of yogurt, 100 grams of granola. Meal one, and 100 grams of this. Granola, yogurt, I add the protein shake into that so it makes it like protein cereal. It's quite nice. Next meal is going to be the beef. Um, beef mince, so I get the extra lean beef, which is typically 5% fat, which says on the label. It's 500 grams of mince. It's weighed out raw, so I get two meals out of one packet. 250 grams is what uh, my macros allow for. That's a bit of canola spray. So you just want to spray it up pretty well so mints don't stick and it just doesn't make a mess. Just add a bit of water. So we just added a bit of spinach and peas 
to the mint. Also, we're using red sweet potato. We're just gonna let that cook. This this meal just tastes good, good whole foods. It's, it's a solid like eight out of 10 on point. You can add a bit of hot sauce. Cholula, probably the best. Or the bullseye, it's pretty low calories too. Just like any other hot sauce and it tastes quite nice. It's a different flavor. You just want to keep an eye on the mints. It's usually done in around 45 minutes. Same as the sweet potato. So we've got the oven cooking at 250 degrees and you want to keep the sweet potato in there for around 45 minutes. Roast chicken, cold roast chicken. So to make the wrap, you sort of have to run your kitchen like a kebab shop. You have to get everything prepared and you have to have your lettuce, tomato, onion. That's the only salads we basically use. You got your chicken for the wrap. Just to warm up the wrap, you just put it in the air fryer for around three to four minutes and it turns out really crispy, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's basically the meal prep done. Um, that salad just looks a bit like rabbit food, but it's just to finish up the macros. It's okay. It's a good volume. Keeps me full. I normally have that as the very last meal at the end of the day. I'm not too hungry at night. So I'm quite tired. So normally just have something light and I just go to bed. And then it's repeat in the morning. So I have the majority of my food in the morning. So yeah, that's Sunday meal prep done. Everything's ready to go. It's all weighed, it's all tracked, and all we really got to do is just, you know, eat through the week. We're not really thinking about making meals. We only really use the food scale a few times just to weigh out the yogurt and all of that in the mornings. But other than that, everything's ready to go. We already know what we're doing. So all we really do now is just follow the meal plan. It's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, that's breakfast. We got our salads to make our wraps. We got lunch over here, which is sweet potato and mince. Those are the snacks. That's the breakfast. If you get thirsty and you sort of were craving something a little sweet, these are quite nice. So today, Sunday's done. We've got all our training done. We've got all the meal meals ready for the week. All we really got to do tonight is probably just watch a movie, relax, start Monday off fresh. You know, it's a new week, clean slate, and start. Um, pushing through, getting through the week. But yeah, I think that's it for today, and I'll catch you in the next one.